This is Munich Airport, Germany's second biggest airport. I transport up to many other destinations and the first thing you'll see when arriving in Munich. But most tourists are not interested in the airport itself, rather the question concerns them how to get into the city. If you arrive with a Star Alliance airline, you'll most likely arrive at Terminal 2. All other airlines arrive at Terminal 1. The first option you'll have is taking a taxi. Taxi rides from the airport to Munich's main station, which is in the city center, will be around 95 euros. Taxi rides are generally safe in Munich. Unlike in other travel destinations, the taximeter is always turned on. However, you should double check because there can always be a black sheep or a forgetful cab driver. The same applies for the Lufthansa Express bus, which leaves the airport in a 20 minute schedule. A single ticket is 13 euro if you buy the ticket from the bus driver. The bus might be an alternative for you if your hotel is in the north of Munich, because its only stop between airport and main station is Schwabing Nordfriedhof. In this case, it's most likely faster than the train. Otherwise, the fastest way to get into the city is the S-Bahn. Therefore, you'll have to follow the big S with or without the bird poo. The train station is found opposite of Terminal 2 or inside Terminal 1. Trains are also run from here towards Regensburg. On the right side of the train station you'll find the Airbräu Biergarten and Brewery, which makes the Munich airport the only airport in the world with an attached brewery. Half a liter of beer for 3,70 Euro are totally reasonable prices, especially for an airport. The food doesn't seem overpriced either. Perfect for a longer layover or a last Bavarian meal. But back to the S-Bahn. You can take both the S1 and the S8 into the city center. This makes no difference in terms of time. A single ticket will cost you 13 Euro and 60 cents. You'll have to buy the tickets upfront in one of those machines. However, if you want to use the public transport for more than one ride, a day ticket might be more useful. Let's take a closer look at the public transport map. You are here at the airport, that's ring 5. The city center is not ring 1, but N. So that would be 7 stripes on a strip card, or an airport day ticket for 15.50. But if your hotel is outside of Munich, you might only need to take 4 stripes. Okay, explaining to you all details of the public transport in Munich can get a little cumbersome. I could easily produce a one hour video that wouldn't help you one bit. And I have seen even Germans who bought the wrong ticket. But there's a better way. May I introduce to you the MBG app, MVG app, the app for the public transport in Munich, Münchner Verkehrsgesellschaft. It's the best informational tool you can get. So when you open the app, it looks like that. The first step you should do is to tap on the gear in the top right corner. Scroll down to Ausgewählte Sprache and switch the language to English. There's even a Bavarian option, but even most Germans wouldn't understand the thing. Step 2. Deposit means of payment. You can skip this step if you are more comfortable to buy a ticket in paper form. You can still use the app as a pure informational tool, but it's comfortable to have the app for tickets as well. To deposit means of payment, you should tap the three lines in the upper left corner. Go to tickets and then tap again the gear. Next step is tap on M login and create an M login account. Here you can store your credit or debit card for future purchases. The M login is a homepage of the city of Munich, therefore can be trusted. After you have set up your MBG app, it's ready to use. Let's say you are at the airport. The from field can either be filled in automatically by GPS or you can fill in the field manually. But assuming your GPS isn't working and you don't know the German word for airport, no problem. Just fill in the word airport and the station Flughafen will be found automatically. And furthermore, assuming you don't know your destination, you just know your hotel or your street name. No problem, fill in your hotel name. Here I assume you booked the presidential suite in one of Munich's most expensive hotels, Vier Jahreszeiten, the Four Seasons. 
Tap Go and you'll see all your options. Tap on the option you want to take once again and you will see your destination station. In this case, Isator. And from Isator, it's an 11 minute walk to the hotel. The app shows you even how. The advantage is, you don't even need to know the station of your destination. Just tap in any street or attraction and the app will show you where to go. But you still need a ticket. Tap the green ticket button and you'll see all your options. From the airport I would suggest you buy a single ticket if you're alone. Or two if you're with a partner. If you are a family of a group of more than two, a day ticket for a group is a cheaper option. To get around in Munich, I will show you all the options. When you tap Tickets in the menu, you will see all the options available for you. Short trips and single tickets are only useful for you if you know that the public transportation will be an exception for you. I wouldn't buy a Stripe ticket, because those tickets are only useful for occasional travels. For tourists, one-day tickets are more interesting. If you want to travel only within the city limits, a day ticket M for 9,20 Euro is all you need. If you need to leave the city limits, you'll have to expand the rings. For each ring you expand, the ticket gets more expensive. If you stay here for a week or longer, an ESA card is what you need. Change the period to week or month according to your needs. If you want to stay in the city center, M is all you need. But if you want to visit the Munich surroundings, for example to Lake Starnberg, which zones do you need? It's best to think about what you want to do in the week beforehand. If you want to see Lake Starnberg and it's the furthest point of interest you like to visit, just go back to the menu with the journeys. Fill out the form with Starnberg, choose a journey, go tickets, choose the Ether card and you'll see that the Ether card you need is from M to 2. And the last ticket I could recommend to you is the Deutschland ticket for 49 euros. But it has some caveats. The Deutschland ticket is primarily aimed at commuters and not tourists. So unlike the Ether card, the month starts with the first day and it ends on its last day. Buying the ticket at the end of the month is useless. Second problem. It's a subscription ticket. That means if you decide to buy a Deutschland ticket, you shouldn't forget to cancel the ticket for the next month. So what are the advantages of the Deutschland ticket? With the Deutschland ticket you are able to use the public transport in every city and you can use most of the regional trains. That excludes all bullet trains. The ticket is therefore useful for tourists who want to take at least three day trips to other locations from Munich, for example to Augsburg, Salzburg and Nuremberg. Or for tourists who want to start a round trip in Germany and want to use the public transport in other cities as well. And the last thing I want to show you is what it looks like once you have bought the ticket. Here I buy a ticket from Marienplatz to Isator, which is only one station and I bought the cheapest ticket because I'm stingy. Once I bought the ticket, you can see the validated ticket here. Tap on the ticket and a QR code appears for ticket controllers. You can also see how long the ticket is valid for. Since it's only a short journey, I only have one hour to use the ticket. The longer the route, the longer the time. If you don't see a green ticket up here, you don't have a valid ticket. I hope those informations were useful to you. Please like, subscribe and leave a comment. If you are interested in a personalized guided tour through Munich, please don't hesitate to contact me. See you in the next video.